Back here again on Tuesday night for a re-replay of the FA Cup. I guess quite a difficult one to prepare for. Yeah, it's it's um, a bit of a frustrating frustrating one um, for us and, and for Bradford really. Um, more so them because they've got to travel all the way all the way down here. But um, yeah, you know it's 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 an opportunity to get in, into the next round of the FA Cup um, and uh, play Cambridge on, on the weekend. So um, we've got a, a decent enough squad and, and there's a lot of players um, that are chomping at the bit to get some game time. So. Um, I think regardless of a few plays for us tomorrow, I think we're going to put out a decent side and, and we'll be aimed to win the game. As you say, straight into the second round against Cambridge for the winner, which also gets you that one step closer to the third round as well. So there's a lot, I mean, a lot to play for. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think ever since I've been here, we've gotten to the third round once and, and, we, and we pulled West Brom, who, who were a Premier League team at the time. So there's a lot to play for. Um, we, We'd fancy ourselves uh, pretty much against anybody in this league, and played Cambridge last year. I think I think we beat them twice, so we, we we'd fancy ourselves getting a decent result up there as well. So there's a lot to lot to play for, a lot to a lot for the club at at stake, uh, money wise, and uh, if we get a decent draw. But there's a couple of games before that, so a lot to play for in the FA Cup, and, and we start by tomorrow. We're very familiar with Bradford now, being the <laughs> fourth time we will have played them so far this season. I guess it'd be an FA Cup game. Does that kind of go out the window a little bit? You don't know what to expect. Um, I think the only unexpected thing for us is who they're going to play. Um, uh, Personnel-wise, we don't we don't really know what team they're going to play. Um, Likewise for them, because. We've had a lot of games over the last three or four weeks, and they might have a, a couple of a couple of injuries, and we don't really know who they're going to play. So, um, in that in that aspect, it's, quite, it's going to be difficult to prepare for. But we, they've played us four times; we've played them four times, so we kind of know each other inside out at, the, at this stage of the season. So, it's going to be an interesting game again. Um, hopefully, it'll be a decent uh, standard of game. Um, it's going to be a cold night, I think, and, and hopefully, we, there'll be a decent atmosphere here. Do you feel like the events of last time could add an extra level of spice to the fixture, or do you think it will be, you know, played in good spirits? I, I don't know. I, I think I think um, our games with Bradford have been have been quite um, professional. Um, I know there was a little bit on the touchline at the last game, but that's because both, both I think both managers want to win want to win the game. So um, I think there's a level of respect between two teams, the both teams and both clubs. So. I think it'll be played in a professional manner and two teams going out there and wanting to get into the next round. As you mentioned, you know, midweek Tuesday night conditions in nearing December, I guess the conditions could also play a factor. I mean, Saturday was a, a tough one, wasn't it, with the wind and yeah. the weather. It shouldn't be too as bad tomorrow, but it must be tougher this time of year to play. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's proper winter football uh, now, I think. Over the last two weeks, I think the the, the weather has got has dropped uh, massively. So, um, I still expect to be a decent crowd. Um, I think if we can take three hundred and something to to Rochdale, I think there should there there could be or should be a, a decent showing here at home on a Tuesday night, and and hopefully that is, and hopefully the the fans get behind get behind us and build the atmosphere and and put some heat into our bodies. And it kicks off a potential spell of a lot of games in a short period of time, a lot like last season. So I guess you got in having experienced that last season, you're probably prepared for that. Yeah, I think last season was the most intense um, schedule um, I think we'll ever have uh, uh, as footballers. Um, so we are kind of used to playing Saturday, Tuesday most weeks, and like you say, we've got a, we've got a big December period coming up. I think. Um, Pretty much every every team we're coming up against is either just above us or or just just below us. So it's going to be a it's going to be a defining season. To, uh, come the end of December to see where we are as a team. I know we've played a couple of teams in and around us over the last month or two, and and we've we've come out on on top on on, on most of them. But I think to be, to be playing. Um, Pretty much all the teams around us over the next three or four weeks, and certainly over Christmas, is going to be a big, a big, uh, a big tell to see where we are um, as a team and uh, as a club. You're a few months into your period as vice captain as well. I mean, how much are you enjoying that, and how well do you think your relationship with MJ is going? <laughs> yeah, I think um, I think I'm I'm I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, I've always um, seen myself. Uh, to kind of eventually take some sort of of role in, in similar capacity, um, 
I think me and MJ, I think he's kind of good cop, bad cop. I kind of do his dirty work and he just kind of sits there and smiles. So I don't mind. Um, me and MJ have got a really good relationship, a good friendship. Um, I've been friends ever since uh, I've come to this club. So um, now I'm really enjoying it and um, things have gone well so far. And yeah, um, me and MJ are kind of working, working well together uh, with Matty. So it's, it's going well so far. Finally, the reason you're sat in the stand is that we've just been to Smith's Toys to pick up the toys for Thursday's visit to the um, Bramble Ward. Yeah. Uh, an important time of the year, isn't it, for the players and the community? Yeah, it's 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 a really interesting thing that um, the club does. Um, I think a lot a lot of clubs in, in the EFL and the Premier League do do hospital visits and and stuff like that. And um, every year I've been here it's it's always been a, a really uh, successful uh, trip to the hospital um I've been fortunate enough to to have gone a couple of times and to have experienced them um, seeing sick children uh, at Christmas time isn't isn't nice um but it, it, to kind of go there with some sort of present um and seeing kids um interacting with you and smiling and, and um kind of getting some some present and some Exeter or City badge on it, it kind of make, it kind of gives them a lift and to see players some of them are fans some aren't and and to kind of meet and greet them in, in the hospital when they're not feeling well it, it, it is really beneficial and it, it's 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 really really nice thing as players to go there and see and this year um, I think most years us players kind of put our hands in our pockets and and we we chip in and and we buy the presents so it's 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 a really nice thing for for the players and the club to do and i think the hospital staff really appreciate our efforts as well so just finally as well a special thanks to smith's toys for donating 300 pounds of toys mm -hmm. as well it was a nice experience going out there no? yeah it was kind of unexpected um use what you guys were there before for me and mj and sparksy and for them to to give us 300 quid worth of toys they didn't have to do it so all credit goes to to, to smith as well that was a fantastic touch from them